Hello, everyone. Namaste. Peace and blessings. Thank you so much for joining me here today in our yoga flow. It is seven o'clock on the dot and we are going to get started here. I ask that we maybe take the next minute to gather any supplies we feel we may need here for our session here today. Maybe something to drink, some blocks, a yoga strap, whatever you feel you may need. And you use this time to gather your supplies. And once we gather our supplies, may we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. I am sitting in a half lotus. May you find any easy seat that feels good for you. As we are using our easy seat to help ground and center our bodies here today. With our tummies tight and our spinal cords nice and elongated here, meaning we are not sunken. We have control of our bodies with our shoulders Relax downward away from our ears. Maybe gazing our eyes down or closing them as we breathe in. Exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body as we breathe our palms at heart center coming into a seated prayer. And maybe we can hang out here for a couple breaths of silent meditation allowing our bodies to center and soothe. Two more breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Noticing how that breath feels within the body. Noticing how our bodies feel now that we are grounded and centered. We are basically rooting ourselves here today, allowing ourselves to go inward. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into a seated salute, reaching our fingertips up towards the heavens. Our spinal cords get nice elongated here. Shoulders flows upwards towards the ears, feeling that stretch. Interlacing our hands together, fingertips together with our point of finger pointing up towards the heavens. Heart chakras open, chin is slightly up. This is a slight back bend. We're gonna hang out here for three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into center, we're gonna separate our palms, twisting our bodies towards the right. Lowering our palms downward towards the earth as we gaze over our right shoulder. We are in our seated twist. Soothing and relaxing our spinal cord here. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into center, flowing into a seated star. In our star, our palms are outwards towards the side as we twist our bodies towards the left. Lowering our palms downward towards the earth, gazing over that left shoulder. See the twist opposite side, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that star as we flow into our salute, noticing how we feel. Bring it down to our prayer, coming into prayer hands as we relax our palms downward towards the earth. We are connecting our palms to the earth. Basically, we are checking in with our environment, taking a moment to notice what is going on around us, simply being aware without judgment. And during our sessions here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Two breaths. As we breathe to our salute, reaching our palms upwards towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. Separating our palms, we are in our seated extended mountain, meaning our palms are separated. As we lean our bodies towards the right, we are in our seated side bend. Noticing how this feels at the sides of our bodies. And if we choose, we can gaze up at the heavens, Opening up their heart chakra for three breaths. Two breaths. 
exhaling the body back to center. As we lean our bodies towards the left, fill in the side bend, opposite side. Gazing up at the heavens, if that feels good for you. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into center. We are back in that salute, meaning bringing our palms together, feeling that flow as we exhale down to our prayer, relaxing our bodies here. We're going to bound our feet together, coming into a diamond or a butterfly, bringing our palms, bringing our feet together. In our diamond, our feet are further away. In our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our body. So whichever one feels good for you, we're going to work on opening our hips right here. Connecting our hands to our feet, opening up our heart chakra, chin is slightly up. We're going to allow our head to relax between our shoulder blades. We are in our seated cow. Two more breaths. Exhale into cat, bringing the chin towards the clavicle. Spinal cord goes to the back of the room. Flowing back to our cow. Exhale to cat. Coming back to our bound position, either our diamond or our butterfly. As we use our hands to bring our legs inward, and we're going to straighten our legs out in front of us, coming into a staff pose. Our legs are parallel side by side. Toes are pointing up towards the heavens, noticing how that feels. As we breathe our palms up, coming into our seated salute. Exhale to prayer. As we slightly Hinge at the hips, coming into that half forward fold. You'll feel this behind your legs and your hamstrings. And we're going to hold, we're going to hang out here, gazing forward with our eyes, gaze down to close. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we point our toes downward towards the earth, we're going to come into that plantar flex. Our toes are pointing downward like a ballerina's foot. We're gonna reach down and touch our hands to our ankles or the lower parts of our feet. We are now in that complete forward fold. Torso comes towards the thighs, eyes to close to gaze down, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into half. As we flow back up to that staff pose, coming up on our buttocks just a little more, we're gonna slightly bring our feet off the earth, feeling that abdominal crunch here. We're gonna work on the core. We're gonna bring our legs parallel. We're gonna come into that boat pose. We can straighten out our legs if that feels good for you or have our legs parallel with our hands. We are working our core, five breaths. <sighs> Keeping that back nice and straight. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we bring our hands inward, maybe crossing our feet at our ankles, if that feels good, we're gonna pound our hands from side to side. Now we are working our obliques. What we are doing here is we are building strength in our core muscles. Five breaths. Feeling a burn, three more breaths. Two breaths. We're gonna do a bonus here. Two more breaths. Finding our pause, coming back to that boat, bringing our feet towards our hands. Playing with our feet just for a second, keeping our backs nice and straight, lifting our feet up and down. Just having some fun here. Noticing how this feels as we bring our palms, our bottoms of our feet back together, coming back into that down position, either a diamond or a butterfly as we flow into our seated cow. Exhale into cat. Flowing back to our table. I'm sorry, flowing back to our bound position. As we use our hands to bring our knees inward, we're going to cross our feet at our ankles, coming into a tabletop. Pose. Our knees are hip distance apart. Tummies are nice and tight here. As we drop down to our cow, chin is slightly up. 
noticing how this feels in the lumbar spine, the lower part of the spinal cord, two breaths. Flow into our cat. <clears throat> Exhale into our table. Hanging out here just for a second. As we extend that right leg towards the back, we're gonna work on our sunbird pose here. So right leg is towards the back. Palms are flat on the earth here. As we extend that left arm forward, we are gaze forward. We are balancing and strengthening the body here. We're gonna hang out here for three breaths. Two breaths. As we take a nice deep breath in, inhale, knee to elbow, back to bird, knee to elbow, back to bird, knee to elbow. Low one back to bird. We're gonna hold this pose for two more breaths. Dropping down to our table. Low into our side. Exhale into cat. Coming back to that table as we extend that left leg towards the back, nice and high. Feeling that body stretch, coming tight as we are gaze forward. If all feels well, we can extend that right arm forward, coming into that full sunbird. We're gonna hang out here for three breaths. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to sunbird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Low and back to bird. Hanging out here, two breaths, feeling the burn. Low and back to that table, drop into cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table. And in our table pose, we're going to slightly shift our weight forward just a little. Working on building strength in the upper parts of our body. Noticing how that feels as we shift that weight forward. Maybe slightly bending the elbows, coming down closer to the earth. Or so comes down closer to the earth just a little. Hold it. Kind of like we're doing a chaturanga. Pushing our bodies back up. Coming back to that table. Noticing how that small movements, you'll feel it all here in your shoulders, the upper parts of your body. So we are back in that table. We're gonna take a rest and drop down to the cow. Exhale to the cat. Lower back to table. Knees are hip distance apart. Palms are flat on the earth. And we're gonna shift that weight slightly forward. Tummy's tight. Coming a little bit more forward. Bending those elbows. Torso comes closer towards the earth. And we are really working the upper parts of our bodies. Two more breaths. Pushing our bodies back up. Noticing how this feels. We're going to bring our buttocks towards our feet. We're going to come into a child's pose or a puppy pose. Relaxing our bodies. Maybe extending our arms in front of us. Coming into an extended child's pose, puppy pose. Bringing that third eye chakra, our forehead, towards the earth. Shoulder blades melt forward. Breathe in. Exhale. As we soothe in this pose for five natural breaths. Maybe we can bring our palms together and flow our arms over our heads coming into an extended child's pose. I'm sorry, coming into a prayer hands, child's pose, a puppy pose. Mm. Taking nice, subtle breaths here. Feeling that body soothe and flow forward. We're going to do a bonus of three more breaths. Extending those arms in front of us, 
palms are flat on the earth. And we're gonna spine away our bodies out of this child's pose, puppy pose, by using our palms to push our torso forward, using our palms to push our head out towards our heels. Feeling that spinal wave here. Yes. Tummies are tight. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause at table. We're going to push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Maybe pushing our torso towards our thighs. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet. <sighs> Finding pause, we're gonna shift that weight forward, coming into that high plank. We can come on down to the low plank if that feels best for us. As we flow down to a low plank or a chaturanga, we'll run over the yoga mat, two breaths. Exhale down to our tummies, coming on to a X pose. We are on our forearms. This is a slight back bend. Ensuring that our shoulders are not shrugged. They are relaxed away from the ears. As we are gaze forward. Eyes downward to close. Breathe in. Exhale. This Sphinx pose is a relaxing pose. May we hang out here for four breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms next to our torso, palms are flat on the earth, we're gonna push our bodies up coming into a baby cobra. Our elbows are slightly bent, our torsos are slightly away from the earth. We are in that baby cobra, gazing forward, two breaths. As we uphale to that cobra, straightening out those elbows, torsos are further away from the earth. This is a deeper back bend. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we exhale up to our up dog, taking those thighs off the earth, chin is slightly up. Feeling this movement here, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, down dog, gazing at our feet. Walking our dog if that feels good. As we find our pause, we're gonna come on down to our forearms, coming into a dolphin pose. We are on the forearms, buttocks is high in the air. As we walk our feet closer towards our torso and we are gazed back at our feet. Allowing that head to completely relax downwards here. We don't want to cause any pain to our cervical spine, which is our neck. So allowing that, allowing that head to relax down. We are gazing back at our feet here in this dolphin. Buttocks is high in the air. This pose here is a headstand prep pose. Four breaths. If you want to pulse up and down on your tippy toes to work your forearms a little more, feel free to do so. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, we're going to drop down to our knees, bringing our legs slightly together, and we're going to come into a puppy pose. With our knees together, buttocks is high in the air, torso comes downward towards the earth, arms are extended in front of us, we are in that puppy pose. Third eye chakra, where the forehead is connected to the earth. Five breaths. Mm. Allowing that torso to melt forward into the earth. As we breathe in, exhale. Body's relaxing, mind is relaxing. Three more breaths. With our palms flat on the earth, we're gonna spinal wave our bodies out of this puppy pose. Maybe doing three spinal waves. Finding our pause at table. 
coming down to our cow. Exhale to cat. Breathing to table as we push our bodies up to that down dog, gazing at our feet. Finding our pause, we're gonna breathe that right leg in the air, coming into a three-legged dog, right side, gazing at that right foot. And if we choose, we can bend that right foot towards that left buttocks, opening up that hip. And this is an option. If we're able, if it's in our practice, we can flow on over to a wild thing. Otherwise, we'll hang out in our down dog with three-legged dog. Whatever feels good for you. Three more breaths. This wild thing is a full body stretch. Exhaling out, flowing back to that down dog, gazing at our feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet. Finding pause, three-legged dog opposite side, left leg comes in the air, gazing back at that foot. As we breathe that left foot towards that right buttocks, opening up that hip, we can hang out here if we choose, or we can float over to a wild thing, feeling that full body stretch. Three more breaths. Exhaling out, coming to the down dog. Dropping down to our knees, and we're going to flow into a child's pose. Maybe a wide legged if that feels good. Allowing the torso to relax between the thighs. Third eye chakra connects to the earth. Shoulder blades melt forward as we take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Allowing that body to relax here in child's pose. Five breaths. Three more breaths. With our palms extended in front of us, we're gonna spinal wave out of this pose. Finding our bodies back in our table, coming to our down dog. As we breathe our right foot towards our right hand, we are now in our runner's lunge. Just hanging out here just for a second. As we drop that left knee downward towards the earth, now we are in our low lunge. And if we choose, we can Move our torso away from our thigh, kind of lifting up our body. And we can extend our arms over our head, kind of coming into a crescent lunge with our palms together. Heart chakra is opened. Filling this stretch, three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling out, we're going to frame that front foot coming off of that knee. And straightening out that front leg, flowing into a pyramid. Feeling a stretch here in this pyramid in that front thigh, that front hamstring behind your legs. Torso melts over that thigh, head melts downward. As we take natural breaths here. Two more breaths. Bending that front knee, coming back to that runner's lunge. Exhale, down dog, gazing at our feet. And we're gonna keep on flowing here. We're gonna walk our dog. Finding our pause. As we breathe that left foot to left hand, runners lunge opposite side. <sighs> Checking out our bodies here, noticing how we feel in this runners lunge. As we drop that right knee down, we are now in that low lunge. Our torsos are kind of connecting to our thigh. If we choose, we can lift that torso away from our thigh, breathing our arms up in the air, feeling that nice stretch. We can bring our palms together if we choose, coming into that low crescent lunge. Heart chakra is open, chin is up. Three more breaths. Two breaths. 
This low lunge prepares the body for split, by the way. As we breathe forward, framing that front foot, we're gonna take that right knee off the earth. We're gonna straighten out that left leg. We're gonna flow into that pyramid here. Torso relaxes over that thigh. Head melts downward towards that knee, feeling a stretch behind our legs and our hamstrings. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, bending that front knee. We are back in that runner's lunge. As we breathe to down dog, gazing at our feet, maybe walking our dog by pedaling our legs. As we find our pause, we're gonna walk our feet towards our hands, coming into that complete forward fold, allowing that head to melt downward, maybe taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. We're gonna hang out here in this forward fold for four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into half. Slightly gazing forward here. As we breathe back down to that complete forward fold. Maybe yogi walking our feet slightly apart and flowing into a rag dial, hugging our elbows with our hands, allowing that head to relax down. This here is a full body stretch. And if we choose in our rag dial, we can sway, meaning rock our bodies from side to side. You'll notice you'll feel that behind your legs and your hamstrings. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Finding our pause, coming into that half forward. As we come up to our mountain pose, our tadasana, the palms are at our side. And maybe we can pedal our feet from side to side, checking in with our hips. Finding our pause, we are in our mountain pose, standing tall. Our feet are rooted. We are grounded. Our head, our third eye chakra is ascending to new places. We are in that mountain. We are on earth. We are ascending to new places as well. The Dasana pose, three breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into that standing salute, palms are together. Spinal cord is nice and long. Chin is up. Maybe interlacing our fingers, allowing our arms to slightly flow towards the back. This is a slight back bend here. Coming back to center, coming into that extended mountain. In our extended mountain, our palms are separated. As we lean our bodies towards the right, coming into that standing side bend, leaning the body towards the right. If you choose, we can gaze up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra. Three breaths. Exhaling back to center. As we lean our bodies towards the left, we are in that side bend, opposite side, gazing up at the heavens if we choose. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling to center, coming into that standing salute, meaning our palms are together. As we breathe our palms downward to our standing prayer, Relaxing our palms at heart center. Belting our shoulders downward away from our ears, allowing the top parts of our bodies to completely relax here. As we breathe in deeply, exhale fully. Standing prayer, feet are grounded, we are rooted, we are planted. As we are also ascending to new places, new levels, new adventures in life. Maybe we can stand out here in our standing prayer of five breaths of meditation.
Eyes are gaze down or closed. Soft, subtle breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into that salute, feeling that body get nice and long here. Exhaling down to our prayer. As we slightly hinge at the hips, we are in that prayer hand, half forward fold. Slightly gazing forward, you'll feel this stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we slightly bend our knees, finding our bodies in our chair pose, working the lower parts of our bodies here. If we choose, we can extend our palms, our arms in front of us. If that feels good for you, we're gonna hang out here four breaths. Two more breaths, feeling the burn, we got this. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into that prayer hand, twisting the body towards the right. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into center. Twisting the body towards the left. Chair pose, twist opposite side. Two more breaths. Exhale into center. Holding this pose here for two more breaths. We are building strength here in the lower parts of our bodies. Chair pose. Exhale, complete forward fold. This is a counter pose. It relaxes and soothes. Breathe in. Exhale. Four breaths of complete forward fold. Two more breaths. Exhale into half. Going back to our mountain pose, our Tadasana, palms are at our side. As we step our right foot forward and twisting our bodies forward, we're gonna come into a high lunge or you can come into a warrior one if that feels good. High lunge or warrior one, whatever you choose. Okay, so in our high lunge or in our warrior one. Two more breaths. As we exhale to warrior two, we are still working the lower parts of our bodies here. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to warrior one or high lunge. Two breaths. Exhale, warrior two. As we flow to reverse warrior. Breathing to side angle or extended side angle. Two breaths. Twisting that body forward, framing that front leg. We're gonna come into that pyramid, straightening out that front leg here. We are in that pyramid. Head relaxes down. Bending mm. that knee, coming to that running slide. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Mm. As we walk our feet towards our hands, we are back into that complete forward fold. <sighs> Exhale into half. As we flow back up to our mountain pose, our Tadasana, palms are at our side. We're gonna step that left leg forward, flowing our bodies into our high lunge or our warrior one, whatever you choose. We are working the opposite sides of our bodies here. Two more breaths. Exhale to warrior two, feeling the movements here. <sighs> two breaths. 
Bring back Warrior One. Exhale, Warrior Two. Feel in the flows. As we breathe to reverse warrior. Exhale to side angle or extended side angle. As we twist our body forward, framing that front leg, straightening out that front knee, we're coming into a pyramid, opposite side. Now in our head to relax over that thigh. <sighs> Two more breaths. Exhale to run his lunge by bending that front knee. As we flow to our down dog, gazing at our feet, tummies are nice and tight here. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet. Finding our pause, shifting that weight forward, coming into a high plank. As we exhale down to a low plank or a chaturanga, hovering over the yoga mat. Mm -hmm. Exhaling down on our tummies, coming into a sphinx pose. Allowing the body to relax and soothe here in our sphinx. Slight back bend, shoulders are melted downward away from the ears, meaning they are not sunken. We have control of our body. Gaze forward with our eyes, gaze down. Two breaths. Exhale and bringing our palms next to our torso. We're gonna flow up to that baby cobra. Yes, now we're gonna flow to that cobra. Exhale and down dog. Walking our feet back towards our hands. We are in a complete forward fold. <sighs> Exhale into half. And we're gonna bring our legs nice and wide. We're gonna come into a wide leg and half forward fold. We're gonna feel that stretch, reaching our right hand to our right ankle, reaching our left hand to our left ankle, allowing that head to melt downward, to completely relax, feeling this stretch. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into half, wide-legged forward fold. As we slightly bend our knees, we're gonna lift our torso up. We're gonna come into a goddess stance here. We are in that goddess pose. We're gonna work the lower parts of our bodies just a little bit more. Here in that goddess, like our chair, we are firming and toning the lower parts of our bodies. So we can have our cactus hands, or we can breathe our palms above our heads in our salute, or exhale to prayer hands. Three more breaths, whatever you choose. Two breaths. Exhale to standing star, straightening up those legs. Palms are off towards the side. Heart chakras open, chin is up. We are in our standing star. We are standing strong. We are standing proud. As we breathe in, exhale. Two more breaths. As we bend our knees, coming back down to that goddess stance here. Working the lower parts of our bodies as we flow our palms above our heads in that salute. We are in our goddess salute. Exhaling down to our prayer. As we flow to our cactus hands. Two more breaths. We're going to do a bonus here. Two more breaths. Exhale, wide legged forward fold. Connecting the hands to the ankles. Head relaxed downward. Wide-legged forward fold, four breaths. Two more breaths. 
Exhale into half. Forward. We're going to bend those knees one more time. Coming back into that goddess stance. We are in our cactus hands. We're going to cross our bodies up and down. Just pulsing the body. Noticing how we feel this burn a little bit differently here when we pulse. Four breaths. Two breaths. We're going to find that pause. We're going to rock our bodies from left to right. Now we're working another muscle group here in our, in our quads. Still in a burn. Three more breaths. Finding our pause. Complete wide legged forward fold. This is a counter pose to what we just did. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Allowing the body to soothe here. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into the half forward fold. And we're gonna do a we're gonna do one more stretch here in the standing position. We're in our wide legged half forward fold. We're gonna take that left hand, connect that left hand to that right ankle. We're gonna wrap this right arm around our backs like we're doing a thread needle. And we're gonna slightly gaze over that right shoulder. We are in our extended stretch. Extended hand to toe twist. This is a lengthening stretch as well. Three more breaths. Exhale into center. We are in that half forward fold. As we breathe our right hand to our left ankle, wrapping that left arm around our backs like you're doing a thread the needle. We're gonna soft, we're gonna softly gaze over our left shoulder. We are in our extended hand to toe stretch, opposite side. I'm sorry, twist opposite side. Three breaths. Two more breaths, fill in this nice deep stretch. Exhale and back to center. We are gonna come into a complete forward fold. As we walk our hands forward, bringing our feet together, coming back to that down dog, dropping down to our dolphin, coming onto our forearms, walking our feet closer towards our torso, buttocks is in the air. Allowing that head to relax down. We are gazing back at our feet. Dolphin pose, four breaths. Two more breaths. As we drop down to our knees, coming into a wide legged child's pose or puppy pose, allowing our torso to come close to the earth, our third eye chakra, our forehead connects to the earth. As we breathe in, exhale. Torso melts forward into the yoga mat. Five breaths. Three more breaths. As we spinal wave our bodies out of this child's pose, puppy pose, finding pause at our table, crossing our feet at our ankles. We're gonna come onto our buttocks, coming into a seated pose. Just for a second, we're gonna come onto our buttocks. We're gonna flow onto our backs, coming into a recline position, hugging our knees into our chest. We are in our knees to chest pose. <sighs> allowing the torso, I'm sorry, allowing the back and the shoulder blades to relax and melt into the earth as we are hugging our knees into our chest, taking this time to show ourselves a little self-love and gratitude. Three breaths. Two more breaths. 
as we allow our knees to relax towards the left. We are in our recline, final twist. Knees low to the left. Right arm goes out to the side like a T. As we gaze over our right shoulder or gaze up at the heavens, whatever feels good for you. We can also extend that right leg out towards the side if you choose coming deeper into that stretch. Whatever you choose, recline, final twist. Five breaths. Three more breaths. Exhale and back to center, hugging the knees into the chest. As we allow our knees to fall to the opposite side, we climb spinal twist, right side. Left arm goes out to the side like a T. As we gaze over that left shoulder or gaze up at the heavens. Allowing the body to relax and soothe here. Five breaths. Keeping in mind that we can straighten out that left leg on top if we choose. Coming deeper into that stretch. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale the body back to center, hugging our knees, hugging our knees into our chest. As we extend our legs up in the air, we are in that legs on a wall pose. Pointing our toes upwards towards the heavens like we do, like a ballerina. Feeling that stretch. As we reach our hands downward towards the lower parts of our legs, we're going to breathe our legs towards our torso. Maybe our butt out comes off the earth. This is a full body stretch. Exhale and back up to legs on the wall. As we flow down to our happy baby, bringing our knees towards our torso. Hands come between the feet. We connect our hands towards our feet. We are in a happy baby. This is a hip opener as well. As we allow, as we allow the earth to relax and soothe our spinal cord, we can rock our bodies from side to side in the happy baby. Noticing how that feels on the spine. Or we can stay still and simply just hang out and freestyle in our happy baby. Whatever we choose, five breaths. Three more breaths. Breathe in, exhale, bringing our legs up in the air, legs on the wall, feeling that stretch, bringing our knees towards our torso as we allow our feet to flow flat on the earth. So our feet is on the earth, our knees are in the air, we are in our bridge pose. Well, we're in our bridge pose prep. We're going to use our palms that's close to our buttocks, our feet. It's going to push our hips, our buttocks off the earth. Now we are in that bridge pose. And you'll feel this here in your gluteus maximus, rounding and lifting your buttocks here. And if we want to go deeper in the bridge, we can bring our hands underneath our buttocks, connecting our hands together. And walking our shoulder blades towards our spine, you'll notice that your heart chakra, your chest comes higher in the air, and your hips will come higher in the air. Now we are deeper in that bridge. And you'll feel your gluteus maximus get even tighter. And if we choose, we can pulse our hips up and down. Noticing how that feels in our gluteus maximus. You may be feeling a burn. <sighs> you may be feeling your body lifting and working. Now, pulsing is just an option. We can stay still. Or we can do both. Whatever you choose, eight natural breaths. Six. 
Six more breaths. Four breaths, feeling the burn. We are lifting and rounding our buttocks here. If we are pulsing, maybe we can pulse it up nice and high and then hold it. Feeling that burn, making that gluteus maximus muscle nice and tight. Holding that pulse, squeezing it in, feeling the burn. Squeeze, squeeze, three more breaths. Two breaths, nice and tight, feeling that burn. We're gonna do a bonus, two more breaths. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Pulsing it down and pulsing it back up. Feeling that burn, holding it up, squeezing it tightly. Uninterlacing those hands, relaxing the body, untucking those shoulders, breathing the knees into the chest, hugging the knees into the chest, relaxing the knees, breathe in, exhale. Straightening the legs up in the air, legs on the wall, reaching our hands down to the lower parts of our legs, breathing our legs towards our torso, but I come slightly off the earth, feeling the stretch. Exhale, back up to legs on the wall. Breathing our knees into our chest. <sighs> Bringing our feet flat on the earth. Allowing our left leg to go nice and straight. We're going to bring that right knee towards the torso. Connecting our right hand to our right foot. And we're going to straighten that leg up in the air. Feeling that stretch. If this is too deep of a stretch, we can always use that strap, placing that strap on the um, right foot and using the strap. Or we can simply just reach our hand to the lower parts of our leg and bring our leg towards our torso. What we are doing is we are stretching and lengthening our body here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling both knees to chest, hugging them in. Extending that right leg out towards the side. Right leg is parallel with the earth. We're going to connect that left hand to that left foot. And we're going to breathe that left leg up in the air, feeling that stretch. We can use our strap if that feels good for us. Or we can just connect our hands to the lower parts of our legs. Whatever feels good for you and your body. We are in our recline, extended hand to toe stretch. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, bringing the knees into the chest. Lowering the feet to the floor. As we straighten out both of our legs parallel, coming into that Shavasana. Legs are side by side. The sides of our feet are connecting. The sides of our feet are touching as we allow our feet to fall towards the side. This allows our legs to completely relax here. Shoulder blades melt backwards into the earth. With our eyes, gaze down or closed, if that feels good for us. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in. Exhale. As we take this time to simply relax and go inwards, focusing on self, being aware of self, showing love and attention to self for eight breaths of silent meditation. Three more breaths.
keeping our eyes closed for days down if that feels good we're going to roll onto our side coming into a fetal pose allowing the body to relax the shoes here in fetal four more breaths Two breaths. Using our top hand to push our bodies out of that fetal pose. Maybe flow into any easy seat that feels good for you. I'm going to come into a cow face. Cow face legs anyway. I'm not going to do the cow face hands. For so finding our comfortable easy seat. Ensuring that our tummies are tight. Our spinal cords are nice and elongated here. Our shoulders are melted, relaxed downward away from our ears. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we take a nice deep Intentional breath in. Exhale. Allowing that breath to relax and soothe. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum, the center of our chest. That feels good. Natural breaths. As we take this time to Thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today. For it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste.